Hi guys, welcome to Language Arts and we're practicing for Study Island. Now a lot of you have logged into Study Island before, but I know that some of you have been having some problems. So Mr. Cookitz and myself decided that we should try to make a video to help you out. So I have actually borrowed a student's login so that I would be able to log in and have it look like yours. So when you go to Study Island, if you don't have it bookmarked to the login page, which I do, I use this little icon right here. It's a great thing to have on your home computer. But since you guys use the Chromebooks, you may not end up doing that. But you can go to studyisland.com. And now when you get to the page, you're not going to click for home, even if you're at home. That's just a different program. You're always using the four schools program. So even if you're at home, you click Four Schools. Then when you get here, you click Log In. And again, Log In for School. It opens up in a new tab. And I am using Angie's Login because I checked to make sure that there was no data there that I could accidentally show anyone. So. You make sure that you put your first name, or first initial, I apologize, and your last name. Then you have to put your graduation year. And then you must put dot ire. Then you put in your same password that you use for school. Click sign in. If you're successful you'll get that screen and then when you log in here you should see the class either it'll say dry Spock and then your class period or if you're in Mr. Cookitz's class you'll see Cookitz and then your class period the important thing is that you see this bar if you do not you need to let one of us know immediately that means you are not on our study island roster and we will fix that almost instantly. So, once you see that, you go over to the arrow and you click. Now, in order to go in here, this shows all of the potential assignments. These are all of the assignments that we have created. The literary elements one is the one that we have due first. This one's due Monday, October 3rd. These all have different deadlines. So you're focusing on the literary elements. There are six different topics here, so this one's going to be a big one. So what you need to do is you're going to go here, and then each of these has a different uh, topic for you. In order to be able to complete the topics, notice that you have so many items per topic to cover, and then you have to pass at least 10 and get a 70% to be considered passing. So, you click on the topic. It comes up with practice mode, game mode, or printable worksheets. You're going to want to click on practice mode. We're only requiring that you have 10 questions, so don't change that. Just click on practice mode, and then you're going to click next. I don't actually want to do that because it's going to start a session for Angie. But that's all you need to do to get logged into Study Island. If you have any other questions, you can see either Mr. Cookitz or myself, but that's the long and short of how you do that. Once you finish one, you're going to go to the next topic, complete that, and so on. If you have any more questions, just ask one of us. I hope this is helpful. Thanks.